Hola, bon dia from Bujuni. Uh, so I arrived uh, in uh, Ujuni, Uyuni last night around half twelve, midnight time. Um, from the border with Argentina, it took us about eight hours, more or less. Long trip. This city is located in a arid place in the desert. Um, 3,700 meters above sea level. I believe this is the city center. It's very busy today, a lot of things happening. Um, but before I show you the city and the surroundings, I want to let you see a couple of uh, images, a couple of videos from uh, yesterday and two days ago from uh, my trip to Salta, from Salta to La Quiaca, uh, the border town in Argentina with Bolivia and uh, all the problems I had uh, with passing the border, apparently I needed a visa and uh, was just a small headache but uh, everything was fine in the end so first of all you see the images and then uh, I'm gonna take you around and enjoy the video. I didn't want to actually do a vlog, but I'm gonna put it in the vlog uh, with Bolivia. Um, I'm in Kiwaka, La Kiwaka. It's a small city, village, border with um, Bolivia. Today I was supposed to be in Bolivia. Unfortunately, I had some problems at the frontier, at the border. And uh, tomorrow I have to go to the Bolivian consulate here in the town and solve that problem. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay, but you will know if this vlog is on uh, YouTube. And uh, I went out for some beers and then I found uh, these guys here dancing. I think they are like street dancing, are two groups, I believe, battling, something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna stay here a little bit more and uh, watch them because it's interesting, it's part of the culture, traditional music, I guess, more or less. Anyways, yes, <laughs> interesting. Sometimes life life can give you surprises. Argentina y Bolivia After one more night spent in Argentina and the long long process this morning to get my Bolivian visa and everything and went through a lot of different cashiers and oh process is just crazy I am finally in Bolivia It's very windy and very dusty it's pretty much like a very dry desert here in the Andy mountains Woo. right now I'm the bus I'm at the bus terminal uh, or near the bus terminal because today I'm gonna get to Salar de Ujun a uh, very beautiful place here in Bolivia oh by the way this small town here on the Bolivian side is a 
3,300 and something meters. Um, it's very dry, it's very windy, it's very dusty. And um, actually I'm doing quite okay so far. I don't really have any problems breathing or anything like that. Anyway, this vlog is gonna be all over the place, but uh, this is my uh, experience that I had. Interesting experience. A crazy experience, but I'm happy I'm finally in Bolivia and the uh, trip is going on. So uh, follow me along on this crazy trip. From now on, I'm gonna be only taking uh, buses. So all Bolivia only buses, and uh, we'll see together amazing landscape. And uh, this is a small, 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 small restaurant. Nothing fancy, good food. Cheers. Now that you've seen uh, what I had to go through to get here, let's enjoy the city a little bit, let's explore together. A little bit about this city and what I can tell from uh, just having a walk around what I observe first of all for uni uh, it's important because very close to this uh, town there is the salt flat called Salar de Ujuni it's the biggest salt flat in the world 
they are covering a very big surface uh, they used to if not they are still exploiting salt from that it's a uh, it's been it was a lake and when the Andes rose up the lake rose up with the Andes now it's pretty much dry only sometimes when it's raining there is a little bit of water and because of that it makes like a big mirror the view is amazing anyways uh, from the first time from yesterday when I entered Bolivia I could notice the people look different their clothes most of them they actually wear the traditional Bolivian clothes they are very pretty the women have the two uh, ponytails Uyuni is a city that is developing is growing uh, but as you can tell from the images there's a lot of buildings that uh, they started to build but they didn't finish I believe this uh, city is uh, living mostly from tourism there's a lot of tourists coming here every year just for Salar de Ujuni and uh, some other touristic objectives around this place. Uh, people here are very nice, they are very friendly. Uh, they see me filming on the streets and they stop to salute and uh, <laughs> Say hello they are sweet sweet so yes people here are very sweet I find this city quite safe so far uh, Bolivia in general it's not Brazil but from what I read online it can be a little bit dangerous so I have to be careful with my phone and filming filming equipment also the currency here is called Bolivianos the country is cheap. An airplane. Yes. And all in all, it's a very interesting place to, to visit. Uh, today, it's full of life around here. I like it. It's just that it's very dry. It's a little bit windy, a little bit dusty. But on the other hand, we are surrounded by desert. We are in a desert, so it's just normal. Okay, enough talking. I'm gonna go around the city a little bit more and explore it. And then I'll probably go just outside the city because uh, I want to film a little bit the desert and uh, some more interesting things around there. Also, Nice paintings, murals, graffiti. Okay, so a few things happened. I uh, went to a touristic agency here in uh, Uyuni and I booked a one day tour for tomorrow. Uh, 
to go and see the salt flats and some other interesting places. I also had uh, one hour and a half uh, sleep and uh, had some food as well. And now I'm heading for the train cemetery, which is just outside of the town in the desert. Uh, and I decided to go in the evening. It's a uh, quarter past six right now because the sun is not as strong as earlier lunchtime and also because I want to film the sunset so I'm just sitting there right now and uh, let's see the sunset together And to be honest to you, I'm not 100% sure why they abandoned all, um, all of these trains here. I will have to do my research. Okay, so here you have it guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of my trip to Bolivia, the experiences I had to go through to get here, I'm gonna finish here with this uh, train cemetery in uh, Uyuni and uh, well I hope you enjoyed the, the vlog and that's me going back to the city now because I'm uh, I'm pretty much in the desert outside of the city. Anyways, good night, buenas noches, cheers.